My wife had a dream and I want her to share it. Hit it, baby. Yes. Fletch in his mouth. My wife had a dream and I want her to share it. Hit it, baby. Yes. But before I share my dream, I want to talk about, you know, a small little subject that me and my husband get attacked on in the comment section about this saved, always saved, you know, type of uh, attack that we get a lot. And people get so angry at us about it. Um, I know that's what a lot of people want. <laughs> I know people desire that to be true, but it's fake. I don't care if your mega pastor or your pastors teaching that is wrong. And it will lead you to a place where you don't want to go when you pass away. And I know that you yourself is probably a great person. You're probably a good person. But there's some people out there who have evil, evil minds and evil intentions. And the Lord was giving me a word. And he said, if it wasn't for the true body of Christ, this world would be in worse shambles than it is right now. 100%. It's just the truth. Because the true body of Christ, the, the people who truly respect the Lord and live a saved life, you know, they have morals. And, it's, and some people do not have morals out here. I know that you want to do what you want to do. You want to sleep with whoever you want to sleep with. You want to uh, curse, you want to drink, you want to smoke weed, you want to do drugs all the time and just live your best life and just say, I believe in Jesus. But if you're not living according to the word of God, if you haven't repented every time you sin, it's a place where you don't want to go. It is some sick people out there yeah. who have molested and murdered people that we can't even imagine right now what a lot of people are doing in the secret place. It's some people probably are still in hostage, be, are, are being sex slaves who have murdered people across the world. So you're telling me that if, if uh, they don't repent, that they all can just go to heaven. Yeah, because they, 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 they believe, because they're not Christ. They're saved and sanctified. If it wasn't Christians on this earth, this world would be in shambles. True Christians. Because if it was up to Satan, this world would be crazy. Yeah. And everybody would be stealing someone's property. And you yourself who believe in this, I always say, I always say you have worked hard for your car. So if someone steal your car, what you going to do? Yeah, it's not a sin. It's not a sin to you because, in your because eyes. Because the person is saved. Yeah. The person that st stole it is saved. So you don't need to cause them or do anything. Just leave it for God. You, <laughs> you know? To leave it for God. Yeah. If someone come in your home and they have a knife and they decide to, they just want to stab you. So you think these people are going to go to heaven with, if they didn't repent. It's, you need to think. When these pastors, these false prophets in the pulpit are teaching this is because they're doing something secret. They have an agenda. They have an agenda. They have an agenda to steal your money. They have an agenda to do whatever they want to do in the secret place. And they're just teaching y'all that just in case they get caught in the future yeah. about what they did in the dark. Yeah. They're getting you prepared. Yeah. They prepare their members with cast the first stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you to judge? Save, always save. They prepare their members with that. If it wasn't for Christ Jesus, it would not be anybody on this earth that will be living right now because everybody will be a murderer. Yeah. Jesus will hold you accountable for your sins. The Bible says that he disciplines the ones he loves. If it wasn't for Christianity, it would not be a jail cell. That's true. It would not be anybody going to jail. I mean, no, you can do whatever you want to do. It will not be no punishment for anything. Think about it. If you want to argue over that, you need Jesus for real. 
You just haven't found them yet. If you if you're still arguing about that, you know, there is no need of preaching the word of God. Yes. There is no need because the whole world knows about Jesus Christ. Absolutely. So what are you preaching? Are you preaching for them to believe it? A lot of people believe it. And that's why we're counting all this. They still believe it, but they're doing all this. Right. This evil, this abomination. So what's the difference between all that? Mm -hmm. So you see that uh, there's no need of really preaching the word of God. So in other means, they're really preaching just to scam people, yeah. to, to take money from people. If that person that is saying, save, always save is great, why are they preaching? Why are they asking for offerings, mm -hmm. seed and tithe? Mm -hmm. There's no need of that. You don't need to obey God through that because right. you already saved and sanctified. Right. So you see that there's a lot of things that they will be mixing up and people are not really questioning them. But simply because they already prepared their members. The woman that was caught in adultery, mm -hmm. they use all that. David, they use all those people, set traps because they want to use save, always save. This is it's really crazy. But at the same time, judgment begins in the house of God. And I remember the Lord showing me a, a dream where... That God is noticing that people pick and choose which scriptures they want to pick. Yeah. You know, they don't want to read the entire Bible from the Old Testament and New Testament. They just want to pick and choose. Okay, well, this scripture is good for me today. Yeah. This scripture is good for me today. But you're not reading other scriptures yeah. that is basically adding on to more of what you need to read yeah. and understand. Yeah. Okay. So let me get into this dream. In the dream... It was a friend of mine and he was a guy friend and he turned into a zombie. And as he turned into a zombie, I also seen another zombie far away from me, or I would say a couple of feet away from me. And I was like, wow. So it was some people who wasn't zombies and some people who were zombies. And so the friend of mine, I began to shake him and I say, wake up from this, wake up from this. And in my head, I was just like, what was I doing even touching the zombie? Because uh, y'all know, if y'all ever watch those zombie uh, television shows or, or something like that, or you know the examples of what zombies are supposed to do, you don't need to be around them. So I was over here saying, what in the world wrong with me? So I began to run and I was in between, I was outside, it was outside. So I was in between two cars. It th These two cars was not my cars, but I was in the middle so that these zombies wouldn't attack because I know in my head that if they ready to multiply more zombies, you know, more, you know, if they, 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 with the, I think in the movies, if they bite you, you turn into a zombie or anything like that. You know, so I was in between these two cars on the floor and I was hiding. And I began to see my friend and he said, Monique, you okay? And I noticed that he was no longer a zombie anymore. Mm. I was like, what? He said, you're, you're okay. And I was like, oh my God. And that was the end of the dream. This dream is just uh, confirming what is coming. It's confirming what is coming. But at the same time, there will be a lot of people that will be delivered out from it. Because my wife prayed, you know, in that dream. And this friend was able to be restored. Because these uh, 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 zombies that is going to come out in the near future is uh, man-made. 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 Because of what they injected in some people. Mm -hmm. It will cause them all this. So, but God's mercy is still going to restore a lot of them. So if you are a minister, believer, just uh, don't fear anything. Be not afraid because God will definitely bring forth his power in this hour to show himself. And I love that. But at the same time, we, don't, we still don't want these dreams to come. Right. We still don't want to see all this, but they are in some way hiding. They are in some way preparing for this. They are in some way planting all this. It will be 
you know, so it will be like a shocking to some people. And a lot of people, it won't be a shocking to me, my wife. I know it won't be a shocking. Even some of you guys, it will not. We know that this is what the enemy is planning. But God is going to shame the enemy. All right? <laughs> let the will of God be done at the same time. Amen, amen, amen. You know, we have said to so many, so many times on our channel that these Hollywood movies and Hollywood t TV shows, you know, they might be movies to you all or to even us, mm -hmm. but they are preparing and ready and, and ready to do what they have you know, spoken in these movies yeah. and television shows, you know? So, you know, they're fictional to us, but these people know what they are planning they do. for future. They do. And that's sad. We call on you, Jesus. I saw something in the realm of the spirit. I saw what the enemy is ranging against this nation. I saw a man eating human flesh. Not in the secret, not in the in the restroom, but on a, on a, under the breed. In other means, this person lose his mind in form of demonic possessed person, and this will be coming very soon. I saw it mm, mm, mm. holding somebody's flesh in his mouth. We're gonna pray that the mercy of God take over. Let your mercy take over. Human right being now. eating human being flesh in public wow. is going to be crazy, but we don't want this to happen. In the name of Jesus. And the second one was like warm, a long warm like this, a tall long warm. A worm. With a dry, with a dry body. Okay. Flying like it was just like a, a heap of it was just everywhere. Oh my goodness. Seems like, it, like somebody just opened up something and it was coming out. And I saw a huge water spirit. A huge water spirit sitting in a place of pool, like a pool. Just sitting like that. If you if you don't pay attention, you think that's an angel of light. We're gonna pray. This time, the enemy is very upset with human, humanity mm. to destroy in so many levels. The nation has really turned their back on God. Strongly has turned their back on God. And God is going to allow some of this. It's going to hit. It's going to be like people will be asking, where is God? But if we pray, there is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing God cannot change. He says, call unto me and I'll answer. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face. If the people in America begin to seek the face of God more and more. Uh, the Christianity in America is losing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Christianity in America is going down dry. Yeah. That is so sad. Um, but I love how God is going to protect his people. Yeah. He's going to protect his people. And uh, and I, I just love how the Lord is also, you know, saying that, you know, some people can still get delivered from this. Yeah. And I love that because God is in control yeah. no matter what. He has all power. Yeah. He has all power. And I love that. He's the Alpha no Omega. and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.